All right. We have Flamey now, and we can go zip around on the world map. And there's a couple of little things that we can do now that we were unable to do before because the Cannon, Tra Cannon Travel Center won't take us everywhere. I believe this is the island that we should be going to. Remember over in Karaka there was that problem where they were... Well, they had thought it was because of the Mana Seed and the uh, Salamando, the fire elemental, had gone missing from the tower. The people living in Karaka had a, were experiencing a drought. Well, we bring those assholes back, and, well, they're still screwed over. Water still looks shallow. I'm Picard, caretaker of this lighthouse. Not many ships on these rough seas. I still keep watch. Is that a lighthouse? <laughs> Did you know there's a whole sunken continent northeast of here near the coral reef? That mana palace is really just a giant switch that'll bring the continent back to the surface. The ancients must have been powerful. There are probably more unexplainable mysteries under the ocean. I'm Picard. Did you know that mana palace? The ancients. Hmm. Okay, maybe this wasn't the place. Here. This is one of the games that I had spent a lot of time playing as a kid. And I played it again, what, two or three years ago or so for the sake of a playthrough, but apparently I don't remember exactly where everything was. There is an island. Perhaps... Now, oh, that's a sunken continent. It's got to be the sunken continent. There is an island. Turtle Shell Island. Okay, this is it. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Can't Hello. Can't much here. I do better business in a bigger city. There's nothing on this blasted isle except these sea hair tails. Huh? You actually want one? Well, I was gonna throw it away anyway. Better put this away before I lose it. Huh. Can't sell much here. Can't sell much. You don't have anything to sell. That's why you can't sell much. I mean, it's also the fact that you're on an island with only, like, five buildings on it. I'll always remember our lavish lifestyle. My family was nobility back in the Vandal Empire. I escaped. Yeah, people fleeing the Empire. I suppose there's no real point to <laughs> talking to these people. That's why we eloped. You eloped. We're married. All right. How the hell is there grass inside of your house? One of the things that's not coming across in this version of the game is that this is supposed to be... They call it Turtle Shell Island or some shit like that. Because it kind of looks like a turtle. In the sense that it's like a big blocky thing and then it looks Whatever's like his feet. On on the outside, does it... This whole island here is situated on the back of... Is it, is it really situated on the back of a giant turtle shell? Because it doesn't look like it to me. Now look at the map up in the top right corner. You see, like, okay, that's the head. Those are the two feet. Things that are not coming across on in the normal game world. There. It's not coming across on this... Um, Overworld, either. Alright, so where is Karaka? That's gotta be it right there. What's this? King Amar! It's a sea hare's tail! Hurrah! Let's throw that in the dry well! You couldn't get this shit yourself? In return, let me give you this belt. It belonged to the legendary hero, so it ought to look great on you. Okay, the Moogle belt... ...turns people into Moogles. It also... ...unmoogles people, which is the actual reason why you'd want to get it. <laughs> where's Watts? I'm about to pass out from this heat! What do you got for me, bro? I've been waiting. Uh, axe. 
Whip. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay, I think there's more we can do. Damn it, I almost moogled myself for no fucking reason. <laughs> Saving these people only really got us to Moogle Belt. I mean, they were never going to die or anything like that. Alright, so where else? What else can we do? We can... Uh, where... Where are you? Okay. I believe... If we head up to Matango... We can get something. Although we were already here at the end of the last episode, and I didn't get it then, so I feel like I did something wrong. Don't quote me on this, though. They might not be able to get anything. <laughs> How's Granny doing? How's... Oh, okay. Of course we know the... You know, sometime. You are the hero that vile... Now his death... All right. For some reason, I was thinking that he had the he had a um, an item that would allow us to undo a status, sort of like the Moogle Belt. Now, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the the Dwarf King in Gaia's Navel has something that we can get too. So I'm just gonna swing over there before I before I bring this one to a close, so I don't start a dungeon seven minutes into this episode. Guy's navel can't be far away. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, this is... It's the Republic over here. I'm not going there. Ah, oh, but not to the point where I can kill him in one hit. Missed that for no reason. Um, no, but I am to the point where I can kill him in one hit. Fantastic. Ah, Watts isn't even here. <laughs> I guess since he follows you around, you don't really need to go to separate places anymore. Thank goodness you're safe. Even the little one's gotten a bit bigger. Let me give you this mallet as a thanks for dropping. I used to use it in the... Okay, I guess I could have picked this up a while ago. Didn't need to get this now. Minor mallet. I think it was called the midge mallet before... It pigmatizes you. Or unpigmatizes you if you use it there. Just a way of lowering the um, attack power of a character. All you do is punch. Sort of like you're wearing the, the heavy glove. And, of course, it works the same way as the other one. But anyway, I guess a uh, short episode, not much was accomplished, but I'll end it here.